Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today we're going to be answering the question, what is Apple Digital Masters? We'll be looking into some of the tools they offer mastering engineers, the resolutions they accept and want you to master in, and some of the benefits of their encoding process. So definitely stick around for the full video. But first, if you'd like a quick answer to our original question, Apple Digital Masters is a protocol set by Apple Music to ensure that the highest quality masters are created for their Apple Music platform. Based on the Apple Digital Masters guidelines, your master should be of the highest original bit depth and sampling rate possible and should avoid clipping. Now, if this is a topic you find interesting and you want to know more about, I'd highly recommend checking out the blog that's associated with this video. If you're in YouTube, just scroll down to the description box below for the link. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered by a certified Apple Digital Masters studio, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. All you got to do is set up this short account, upload the song, and we'll do the rest. So the first thing you should know about Apple Music is that although you may want to convert your masters to MP3s or AAC files yourself, Apple Music very much wants you to let them handle that encoding process. They believe that their process for creating lossy files results in the best sounding music, and they're definitely right in believing this, but more on that later. Now, what you need to do as a mastering engineer if you want to master for Apple Digital Masters is master a stereo file with the highest or original sampling rate and bit depth. Now sending the highest quality file doesn't mean upsampling the signal or adding bits to the bit depth after the fact. By doing so, you wouldn't be increasing the audio quality or generating new samples, so this process is best avoided. What it does mean is sending a master that is the original sampling rate and bit depth of the recording process. Now, ideally, the masters would be a 24-bit, 96 kilohertz file, but Apple accepts resolutions as low as 24-bit and 44.1 kilohertz sampling rate. Apple can then use its encoding process best suited for creating high-quality AAC files from high-resolution PCM files. So this brings us to our next point, and that is Apple Digital Masters have created perhaps one of the best, if not the best, encoding process for any lossy file. First off, their AAC file is a 24-bit file, meaning you won't get any quantization distortion or need to use dithering to mask or randomize that distortion. Now, quick side note, you can learn a lot more about dithering and quantization from our other video and blog titled What is Dithering? So definitely go check that out if you have a moment. Now also, their AAC encoders use advanced anti-aliasing filters and a 32-bit float file when encoding to ensure incredibly accurate uh, sampling rate conversion and quantization. Now I know this sounds technical, but the sonic benefits can be heard and measured. So if you compare an Apple Digital Mastered encoded AAC file to the original 24-bit file by using a null test to find the differences, you'll find that a lot less information gets deleted during their encoding process than when compared to an MP3 or even an AAC that was made with a different encoder. Now, all this to say that whatever Apple Digital Masters have running behind the scenes of their encoding process is incredibly efficient and sonically superior to uh, other lossy file encoding processes. Now, lastly, let's talk about some of the tools Apple Digital Masters offers its engineers. First, there is this program called AF Clip, which can run in any Mac terminal. What it does is scan a track, measures, and reports any clipping that is occurring. It's super easy to use. You just got to type AF clip and then space into your terminal, drag and drop your audio file, push enter, and AF clip scans and reports any clipping or intersample clipping in this report. Now, if you don't want to work within your terminal and you prefer plugins, Apple also offers a tool called AU Roundtrip AAC. This plugin can show you how your signal will behave after being converted to an AAC file. Now, this is incredibly important because the conversion process subtly changes a master's amplitude in a way that can cause peaking. Now, utilizing an AU Roundtrip AAC plugin allows you to see in real time if your track will peak or clip after being converted. So these are just some of the features and specifications created by Apple Digital Masters. So if you want to learn more about this topic, again, I definitely recommend checking out the blog that's associated with this video. There's a lot more to learn about Apple or how Apple handles masters so definitely check it out also if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you want mastered by an apple digital master certified studio send it to us at sageaudio.com now this is important because apple only accepts these types of masters from studios they've certified so 
If you want your music in an Apple Digital Masters playlist or anything like that, you have to go through the right channels. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date on all of our latest releases. There is a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video or a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.